Honda shows off electric outboard motor for boats using its motorbike batteries. Honda's combustion engine outboard motors are a common sight on the back of boats and marinas around the world. But those motors could be going green one day thanks to a new Honda electric outboard shown off recently at the Dusseldorf Boat Show. The new boat motor is reportedly still a prototype, but the design looks to be fairly refined at this point. The transom mount electric outboard was shown off without specs, so I don't know how much power it will provide. But, judging by its size, it doesn't look to be a high-performance motor. It's likely designed for small and lightweight electric boats and may come in a power rating of 1 to 3 horsepowers. While Honda didn't give any specs on the motor itself, we do know that Honda has designed it to work with the company's Mobile Power Pack E. That's the Gogoro style portable battery pack that Honda developed and is attempting to turn into a battery standard for swappable power supplies. The battery is already used in several of Honda's electric scooters and the company has revealed concepts that could see it used in other mobility products like micro EVs. The Honda Mobile Power Pack E, or MPPE for short, are soon getting their own GoGoro style battery swapping stations for recharging. It features a number of battery slots that would allow electric scooter and motorbike riders to pop in their nearly depleted batteries and slide out a freshly charged MPPE battery. Gachacho, I hope I'm saying that right, the battery pack swapping company was jointly formed by Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki. Those motorcycle makers, collectively known as the Big Four in Japan, led to the founding of a consortium to develop a universal standard for swapping battery used in electric motorbikes. Ultimately, though, it appears they've all just decided to use Honda's batteries as the standard. Looks like Honda has obviously big plans for this. They describe the system as a battery infrastructure that can be widely used in both Japan and overseas. Honda's HPPE stations will require riders to first enter their details into a swap station before being able to access the batteries. Could battery swapping like Honda's HPPE system take off? Or will removable batteries that riders can charge at home win out? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Hey, and if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next video.